Hello everyone, this video is about an amazing fact that you may not know before. Before coming to the matter, I would like to ask a question from you. That is, do you know the organism who is responsible for the production of highest percentage of oxygen for the earth? Is that plants? No. Then, who is the responsible one? Scientists estimate that 50 to 80 percent of the oxygen production on Earth comes from the ocean. The majority of this production is from oceanic plankton, drifting plants, algae, and some bacteria that can photosynthesize. There is a marine algae called phytoplankton, which are the autotrophic components of the plankton community and a key part of ocean and freshwater ecosystems. Phytoplankton are the grass of the sea. They are floating, drifting plant-like organisms that harness the energy of the sun. In briefly, they do photosynthesis. Marine biologists estimate that at least 50% of oxygen in our atmosphere has been produced by phytoplankton. At the same time, they are responsible for drawing down significant portions of the carbon dioxide from the air. Phytoplankton cell size ranges over several orders of magnitude less than 2 micrometers. They are mainly exit in the colors of yellow and green. Phytoplankton and algae form the base of aquatic food webs. They are eaten by primary consumers like zooplankton, small fish and crustaceans. Phytoplankton can grow exclusively over a few days or weeks. Depending upon the species, phytoplankton can contain a large array of nutrients, including omega-3, fatty acids, amino acids, carotenoids, antioxidants, and nucleic acid and an assortment of essential vitamins and minerals. And all of these nutrients are 100% bioavailable to your body. Phytoplankton are most abundant in high latitudes and in our dwelling zones along the equator and near coastlines. They are scarce in remote oceans where nutrient levels are low. When considering all these facts, you may recognize that the tiniest of living organisms exert an outside influence on the planet. So, at last, I like to say that be aware about what nature is doing to keep you alive. And also, try to give your full effort to conserve the precious gift we have ever presented by the nature marine ecosystem.